Hello, my name is Ashley Chapman and I'm the Vice President of Chapman's Ice Cream. On October 11th, 1973, my parents launched their business, they started production and uh, and yeah, the rest, as they say, is, is uh, history. My father would drive the trucks to the stores. Uh, my mother would uh, run the production lines. His dad was out on uh, deliveries and uh, he would come back and he would take over in production and uh, she would go up to the office. After that, they just continued to uh, grow and grow and they refused to give up and uh, here we are. At Chapman's, we uh, manufacture a full range of ice cream products. Uh, Everything that you can think of, everything that would be available on the market today, we have the ability to produce, as well as a lot of specialty items like our uh, no sugar added and lactose free line, our yogurt plus line, which is a good for you yogurt, um, our peanut free and gluten free original two liters. We make uh, just about every, everything we possibly can for just about every demographic group out there. We uh, have coast to coast distribution. Uh, we have customers uh, all over the country. In 2009, September 4th, uh, we had a, uh, a fire at our main production facility, our only production facility, uh, started by a welder spark and uh, it uh, leveled the entire factory. So literally, we had to start from scratch. I'm sure a lot of other companies would look at all the other opportunities that they had. They would have uh, moved to another municipality, depending on tax breaks, whatever. But we were approached after the fire about uh, other municipalities. But at the end of the day, we, as a family, just couldn't, we just couldn't see it. It just it wasn't right, as well as all of our employees. And after the fire, that was our number one concern, was retaining our employees. That happened actually, it happened on a Friday. And that weekend, uh, we had people working at our dry warehouse um, in order to clear out all of the, uh, the racking. So right after the fire, we hit the ground running, probably about uh, two weeks after the fire. Uh, we moved our operation from the dry warehouse uh, into the old Nordic Furniture Building. We had literally just completed, three weeks before the fire, an extension of about 20,000 square feet onto the dry warehouse. So it became the logical move to set up a mini plant, as we call it there. So seven weeks after the fire, we started producing ice cream. We are still operational out of that mini plant, and it's kicking out enough to, uh, to, to meet our, our demand now that the summer is over. Um, the entire office and uh, support staff is still located in uh, Nordic, the furniture factory, as we're just uh, commissioning the uh, the new building which we affectionately call the, the Phoenix Project. The old facility was 85,000 square feet, the new facility is going to be 165,000 square feet. The obstacles when my parents started in 73, they were, they were, they were considerable, but things have changed a lot since then. Whoa. Certainly as far as uh, uh, transport, uh, uh, if, you're, if you're going to do truck transport for your product, there's no real particular uh, problem. The the distance between here and, and Toronto per se, it, it's getting shorter and shorter every time they extend the 410 up. As far as employee retention is concerned, we have we, we have employees that have been here for, for 35 years and the company has only been here for 38. So as far as our upper management is, is concerned, these are people who uh, are from Hamilton region, Toronto region, uh, London region. These are, these are people who you know, dealt with traffic and, and, and commuting and, and all of this stuff for the beginning of their career. And now, you know, mid 40s, realize, okay, the kids are starting to leave the house. I don't want to live in the city anymore, I want to live in the country. So uh, lots of our, our, our senior management are from all over the place. They have made a lifestyle style choice and wanted an improved quality of living. It all depends on, on where, as a company, your, your focus lies. If it's employee driven, then yes, this is the area for, for you. If, you. if your employees want to raise families and do that, this is, this is where to do it.